Today, I'm going to be making two ingredient fudge. I have made this on the channel before and it's gotten lots and lots and lots of views. And then someone let me know that they made it with zero sugar frosting and uh, no added sugar peanut butter. So, uh, Jif, I bought the Jif, but there are other brands you can buy. This is a 15.5 ounce jar of Jif. And the uh, Pillsbury is a 15 ounce container of uh, frosting. I bought the vanilla frosting. You can buy any flavor frosting you want. It doesn't matter if you're going... Literally, caramel, chocolate. Yeah, as long as it's zero sugar. So now I think we've only seen chocolate and vanilla. Right. But if you find another flavor, feel free to use it. Uh, this recipe... Uh, this is going to be the exact same recipe where I did the, the the ones with sugar, with full sugar. So, if you don't care about the sugar, of course, you can have strawberry or whatever frosting. And you can use different peanut butters, too. So, uh, they sell, like, uh, Peanut Butter and Company sells different flavors of peanut butter. You can use different flavors of peanut butter. But since we're going for no added sugar, we're going for the vanilla with regular creamy peanut butter spread. I have a um, eight by eight inch pan here. You can use a nine by nine if you want it to be thinner. I'm gonna have my fudge a little thicker. I have put a piece of parchment paper in the bottom just so I can pull it, uh, pull it out and cut it, uh, cut the fudge easy when it's done. You want uh, two bowls, and we're going to take uh, the frosting and we're gonna empty it into one bowl and we're going to empty the peanut butter into the other bowl the entire container and then we are going to heat each bowl in the microwave so do you have a certain way you heat it kevin i usually do a minute and then give it a good stir to see if it's melted if it's all melted after a minute which it usually is then it's um then you're good you're done I tell you what, the texture of this is like um, if you use wall spackle. That's what I was going to say. It looks like wallpaper paste or something. Uh, it, yeah, if you uh, want to spackle a hole in the wall, uh, this is <laughs> this is what this texture is like. It's very thick. It's thick. Sticky. It's, yes, very sticky. Um, you would think with no sugar it would be less sticky. but No, it's, it's very, very sticky. Hmm. So, there is the whole jar of that just leave that spatula in that container okay and then we're going to do the peanut butter and let's have a look at the peanut butter got to make it through the seal i'll use the uh, spatula to actually stir it in the microwave or once i get out of the microwave okay so once again whole jar of peanut butter it smells wonderful we're gonna put that in here. And just in case you're wondering, you shouldn't heat these up in the in the containers. We did that the very first time we did it. It actually, uh, you're not supposed to microwave these plastic containers. You're not so. supposed to. We did, and we didn't have any issue with it. So yeah, I'm just saying it's supposed to release some kind of chemical. I don't know. Who knows? We we didn't have any issue with it, but I will tell you that I've had comments that some people um, like that lid uh, that I just peeled off is like a foil lid. If you leave a little bit of that foil oh, around yeah, the top, problems. it will, yes, it, it will, will sparkle. <laughs> yes, it will not be go well in your microwave. So some people um, apparently did that. <laughs> so yeah, and I got comment after comment on that video, like you're supposed, you're not supposed to heat things up in those jars and stuff like that. Well, you know, you have to do what you, what feels best for you. But I'm putting them in a, a bowl and. Um, so we don't have to worry about any of those comments this time. So we're gonna heat these up and get them liquefied and then we'll be back. So we have our melted peanut butter and melted frosting. I'm gonna pour my frosting into my peanut butter and stir it together. And I just did it a minute each, which is the typical, that's the way you would do it if, for the regular sugar one too, so a minute a piece. And don't microwave them together. Um, I've never tried it, but I don't know how well it'll work. I always do them separately. most of the streaks out. If you still have some streaks of vanilla in there, it's fine. It'll just make it pretty. 
Uh, but pour this into your prepared pan. Makes it look marbly. Now, because we're not baking this, you can leave your, your clips on if you want to. Um, it's not gonna hurt anything. Um, but I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and it's gonna take a couple of hours. But just like regular peanut butter fudge, uh, leave it in the refrigerator until it gets firm and then we'll be back to give it a try. I had this fudge in the refrigerator for two hours and then I had it in the freezer for one hour. So I'm going to cut it just like I normally would. So I just got a few pieces and put it on the plate. Yep. Um, we uh, used, of course, the no sugar added Jif and the zero sugar Pillsbury frosting. I took a picture though. Uh, Kevin was, it was brilliant because we always have Jif peanut butter in the cabinet. So I knew I could look up the calories and all that once I got home for that. But then the frosting, I don't normally buy Pillsbury frosting. So Kevin said, well, why don't you take a picture on your phone while we're here in the store of the regular. So I did that. And so he's so written we can down. Compare. Yeah, he's written down some comparisons. So calorie wise, it's really not a big, huge difference. So the total pan, and now this is the whole pan. You have to divide it out for each piece. Uh, the whole pan was 4,620 if we'd use regular peanut butter and frosting. Mm -hmm. 4,620. 4,000 calories for the these no, zero sugar and no sugar added. So it's only 620 calories less. So it's really not a huge calorie difference. So right. if you're looking for calorie changes, I just do the regular one. And see, we count calories. Well, we look at calories. Yeah, we, we look at we don't we count them, right? Yeah, we watch our calories. We're just mindful of it. Mm -hmm. But now where the difference is, if you can't have sugars, you would want to do it this way. Mm -hmm. So a regular, if we would use regular ingredients, the sugars would have been 322 grams of sugar total for the whole pan. This, for the whole pan, is only 26 grams. 26 grams. Mostly because the frosting has zero sugar. So that's a difference of... 296 grams of sugar. Mm -hmm. So, and now if the peanut butter, if there was a no sugar version of peanut butter, you could have gotten that even lower, but this yeah. is just reduced or no added sugar. So yeah. it's got natural sugar. This has zero total sugar. Yeah. It's crazy. But um, the Jif peanut butter, I guess the sugars there are natural sugars. They don't add sugar. They just use the natural sugars mm -hmm. that are in peanuts. So right. yeah, 296 uh, grams of sugar. That's quite a bit. That's, that's a lot of sugar. It actually. is a lot of sugar. Yeah. Try a piece. I try a piece. I have it, had... It, it looked very soft when you were cutting it. It is soft. I have, a, uh, I have several videos on two ingredient fudge. The original one that I did was just with um, vanilla frosting and, and regular peanut butter. Another one that I did was, and it's my favorite combination actually, it was like a, a salted caramel um, frosting. frosting. It's my favorite. It was, like, it was really good. It was like over the top. Of course, it's not no sugar, but, um, but that was my favorite one. But under that uh, original video, um, I've gotten so many comments that people have made the uh, no sugar added or sugar free fudge with the, these same things that we've used. But I did have a lady that left a comment. Um, she said, I told you at the beginning of the video, they make um, this zero sugar vanilla and chocolate. She said she used chocolate with the peanut butter and she said it reminded her of a Reese's cup and she said you know she has some health issues and so she can't have regular fudge with and so sugar. so yeah well, probably not sugar. so for her this was the answer this is a good trade yeah right? this was the answer for her is is because it reminded her of a Reese's cup by using the peanut butter the this peanut butter and then the uh chocolate I could see using chocolate instead of vanilla did you try the just the Try a little bit of that frost. 
It doesn't have a lot of flavor, to be honest with you. I don't think. It is um, like, it, I swear, I've taken this and done this to a wall to get rid <laughs> of a, a, a nail hole. Um, even the frosting by itself, really not a lot of flavor there. I mean, it's just really, there's not a lot there. It's just kind of bland. It's more of a paste. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think that's why I think it has a, a you taste vanilla. You do, but it's just not as good as vanilla. Yeah, it's not going to be sweet, but I do taste the vanilla. I think it's fine. I think that's probably why this is a little softer. Mm-hmm. Well, I actually, I actually don't mind this. I, I really don't. Mm. And I'm a sugar addict. Even the peanut butter is not that strong in that. I guess if your dietary needs, you needed the lower sugar. You could go, you could do this. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't need it though, if you don't, if you're trying to watch your calories, like I said, just make the regular. It's really not much difference in calories. It's amazing how much difference uh, sugar makes. Oh, Jif, I think adds a little sugar anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, they do. Um, it tastes like just peanut. Yeah. It tastes like raw peanut. Um, the ingredients are peanuts, palm oil, and contains 2% or less of salt. So, that's what it tastes like. It just tastes like pure ground up peanuts, ground up peanuts without any sugar. Yeah. Um, I, I personally would never eat this. <laughs> but I don't have, like I said, I don't have the dietary restrictions that re require this. Right, uh, but probably if I, should. But no, it's just sugars though. If you're just right. watching calories, really it doesn't make you, it's not much difference. Right. By the time you add that 620 additional calories up into each one of these little squares, mm -hmm. you're probably only talking about 20 or 30 calories more per square. Right. So it's yeah. really not that much. Right. Um, yeah, for me it's just not very flavorful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, It's okay in a pinch, but I, I personally wouldn't make it. I agree. It's I, I I really love regular fudge, and I love the sweetness of regular fudge. Mm. I mean, that's one of the things that that I like about it. However, I do think it's nice to know that this works it's for possible. people. Yeah. yeah, it works for people who can't have it. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I wanted to try it with the vanilla because my original video was with vanilla. Right. But th like I said, that lady left that comment about the chocolate. chocolate. I could see that adding some more flavor. I think you should uh, you should try it. it. Just knowing that this works like this, mm -hmm. and uh, they do have other brands of peanut butter that you can buy. Um, and uh, yeah, if you can find any more, I have never seen like strawberry or something mm -hmm. like that zero sugar. But you can try different combinations, and definitely it works. I would recommend. Go ahead and put it in the freezer. Yeah, it was kind of because it was super soft. In the yeah, microwave. because it is soft. I mean, look look how soft this is. And I mean, it's been three hours and it's very soft. So you're gonna want to store this after you've eaten whatever. Uh, you're gonna want to store this either in the freezer because I don't think it's gonna get rock hard. No, I don't think it ever. Will. I think you could store this in the freezer or the refrigerator, but the, the freezer is probably best, and then take it out, and you won't have to worry about it being as tacky. Right. Yeah. Um, but it does have a fudge-like flavor, somewhat fudge-like texture. Yeah. Um, it's just a soft fudge. Yeah. And uh, I, I think, like I said, I think it's perfect for if you need those sugar restrictions. I think yeah. it's absolutely the answer to your fudge prayers. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I agree. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.